Well, the pandemic also leading to changes for the upcoming elections. The list of polling places are being narrowed down from universities, senior centers to the AT&T Center. The night team's Tiffany Huertas has a look at the possible locations and which location will focus on young voters. We're in, in talks with both Our Lady of the Lake and UTSA, pushing to add those, even though we know on those campuses and campuses all over the country, uh, um, student uh, attendance and population is down because of, because of COVID. But again, it's still giving access to those folks. Next week, county commissioners will discuss early voting locations. I voted there uh, pretty much every year since uh, I was a freshman there in 2013. William Frankie Trinoski graduated from UTSA. I d lived around the area and it was a place that I knew. Uh, I knew during early voting, you can vote anywhere in the county. It was a place I knew I could go um, and just cast a ballot. And it was very quick, simple and efficient. It's important to keep uh, UTSA in an early voting site is just for consistency. The exact Executive Director of Move Texas, a nonprofit that encourages people to vote, says the university is a critical location for young voters. It's the largest campus in the city. And even right now with UTSA to scale back, uh, you know, classroom situation because of COVID-19, there's still upwards of 10,000 people that interact with the campus. We're also talking um, to the city of San Antonio about uh, utilizing some of the senior centers here in our community uh, those have been closed uh, since the pandemic, since March, basically. Um, and, and a lot of those facilities are nice, large facilities where, again, we could accommodate uh, social distancing and spacing. This year, mega sites like the AT&T Center are also being considered. Tiffany Huertas, KSET 12 News. The deadline to register to vote is coming up in October. Move Texas is partnering up with the Spurs for a drive through voter registration event. It's on September 15th at the AT&T Center. For more information, head to ksat.com.